Right, okay, welcome to uh, lesson three of six, where we're continuing our look at uh, energy through key stage three. So as you looked uh, previously in lessons one, we're looking at the basic energy types. Lesson two is energy transfer diagrams. Um, today we're going to have a look at heat and temperature. Okay, so this is a uh, course for the first main misconception of uh, energy at key stage three, uh, because you know most people think that heat and temperature are the same thing. Well, as you can see in the big red word, if I can get it to come up, there we go. Heat and temperature are not the same thing. Okay. So in lesson one, we had a look and had an introduction to what we call thermal energy. Now, heat is basically just the amount of thermal energy that an object possesses. Whereas temperature is merely just a measurement of the exact heat or, hot or how hot or how cold that object actually is at the time. Um, so let's have a look to see if we can try and explain that a little bit better. So, as we've got bouncing in here, we've got a picture of a swimming pool and we've got a picture of a cup of tea. Now, so which one of these two possesses greater heat and which one of these two progresses uh, better or higher temperature? So say for example, you know, swimming pool here, we've got it's a nice sort of 30 degrees, the sort of thing you might find if you get, to go, get the chance to go away on a summer holiday. So it's going to be about 30 degrees Celsius. Temperature is, in this country, generally uh, measured in degrees Celsius. So our pool will be 30 degrees Celsius, where our cup of tea, on average, probably around about 80 degrees Celsius. So we can already tell that our cup of tea has got a much greater temperature. It's got a higher temperature. So if you had a cup of, uh, a cup of pool water and a cup of tea water, then obviously at that time both the tea would be hot would be hotter, so it's greater, greater temperature. Also on that scale, it would have a greater heat because it's going to have a greater thermal energy. But what we're actually looking at here is a complete swimming pool of water. Now because there's actually a greater volume of swimming of, of water in the swimming pool, it actually possesses greater thermal energy. So it's all relative to exactly the amount of substance or liquid that you actually have. So the fact that this swimming pool is much greater but it's got a lower temperature of 30 degrees, because there's a lot more of it, it actually has the potential to have a lot more thermal energy in it than a small cup of tea does. So that's just basically just our complete look at uh, heat and temperature for now. Uh, so it's quite a difficult concept to get through at this level, um, it is the main misconception. But as I say, you know, heat and temperature are very, very different. Okay? Heat is just purely the thermal energy that that possesses. Okay? Uh, heat is thermal energy possessed by the object. Whereas temperature is just a pure measurement of how hot or how cold it is and it's all relative to the amount of substance that you actually have. That concludes just our small lesson today, uh, just on heat and uh, temperature. Uh, thank you again. So my name's Ian McDowell. I'm a student from Brighton University.